the world can be broken down into about a dozen or so major regions. Some of them, like Southeast Asia and Western Europe, get a lot of recognition and for good reason, while others like Central America or West Africa don't get talked about very much. But in today's video, there's one region that I want to bring to your attention, and that region is called Central Asia. Welcome to Tajikistan. Central Asia consists of five former Soviet republics. Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, and Turkmenistan, and sometimes Afghanistan is included in the mix. Over the last three years, I've visited every country in Central Asia, and I think it's the most underrated region on Earth for many reasons. Firstly, Central Asia is home to the Silk Road, where trade routes connected the East to the West thousands of years ago. The culture left behind is very much alive and just fascinating to explore. Later on in the 8th century, Islam spread to the region as part of the Muslim conquest, where they built the most beautiful mosques, which are still around today. Here at the main mosque in Dushanbe. The nature around Central Asia ranges from tall snow-capped mountains to large stunning deserts and everything in between. Much of it is undiscovered land and you will hardly come across another tourist, but you will certainly meet amazing people. Due to its close proximity to China, Russia, and Iran, it's basically a melting pot of people, culture, and ethnicities. You'll see faces that look Asian, European, Persian, and Arabic, but regardless of their looks, they are so warm, humble, and welcoming. Many Central Asians still live nomadic lives, living in yurts that look like this, and they're happy to speak to a foreigner. Welcome bro in Afghanistan, we are hospitable people. Just try to learn some Russian first because English is not widely spoken, but that makes it all the more authentic. Prices across Central Asia are some of the cheapest in the world, especially Uzbekistan, and the food is fantastic. My favorite dishes are plov, shashlik, and manti. Is anyone hungry yet? Keep an eye out for Central Asia to explode in popularity over the coming years as visa restrictions have already been lifted and more big airlines are starting to plan more routes across Central Asia. But for now, as I speak these words, Central Asia still remains a hidden treasure with so many stories to tell and I sincerely hope that you will have the chance to visit. I'll conclude this video by sharing a short memory from each Central Asian nation, and we begin with Kazakhstan. I visited the capital of Astana a few years ago in March, and it was like one of the coldest I've ever been. It was like minus 30 degrees. But what I remember from Astana, it was such a very unique and funky city. The skyline has all these landmarks built in like a line with like these really, really modern looking buildings like the Khan Shatir, which is this big pyramid shopping mall thing with a tropical beach club inside at the top. And it was also the country where I first tried horse milk, which I didn't really like. <laughs> that is really sour. Sour? Yeah. Really? Tajikistan, amazing country. I always put it in my top 20 favorite countries around the world's list. What I really enjoyed about Tajikistan was a city in the north called Khujan. It has the most amazing market, just so colorful, and I didn't see any other tourists around. And there's a really giant lake nearby called Lake Istandarkul, I think is the name. And we stayed overnight with a nomadic family on the mountaintop, and it was just some incredible hospitality, and I'll just never forget my times there. Uzbekistan, oh man, I think last year it just won like the most upcoming destination in the world by some award, and it's for good reason. My favorite part of Uzbekistan was not the capital of Tashkent, it was a city called Samarkand, which is on the Silk Road. The old city is definitely a UNESCO site. It just has such a cool architecture that has just stayed the same basically for all these years. You still have these really old markets that just feel like you're just walking into ancient history. And the people and culture there of Samarkand really made it my favorite town in Central Asia. Turkmenistan, oh man, what a bizarre country. It's definitely the most interesting country in the world, even more interesting than North Korea. The coolest thing about Turkmenistan is the gates of hell, the burning fire pit in the middle of the desert, which I made a video about, but also the city of Ashgabat in itself is just so strange. You have all this imported fine Italian white marble that covers all these buildings and all these fascinating sculptures, but there's like no people around. It's very eerie, but I, lo I love places like that. It gets like 7,000 tourists a year, and I just love to go walk around the streets and just kind of see what's happening in Turkmenistan. I definitely want to go back there someday soon. 
Kyrgyzstan, one of the most beautiful countries in the world. I think 92% of the country is covered in mountains and it's really high altitude, so it's very cold. But my favorite part about Kyrgyzstan was Ala Archer National Park, which is only like an hour or two drive from the capital of Bishkek. And you're just out there in the middle of the wilderness and you see all these little kids running around with these really cool white cone shaped hats and these big eagles or hawks that they carry on their shoulders. And oh, it's just such a cool place. And we also stayed overnight with a family in a yurt which is those nomadic homes and Kyrgyzstan is a place I absolutely will return to soon. And last but not least is Afghanistan. I don't even know where to start. It's like one of my top 10 favorite countries in the world. But the first thing that comes to mind is a very unique bird market in Kabul. They're selling all these kinds of birds everywhere. And it's just so lively and people everywhere. And it's really a cool atmosphere to check out. I also really liked the Blue Mosque in Mazar Sharif. It's a fantastic display of Islamic architecture. It's one of the best mosques in the world that I've ever seen. And it's so cool. All the kids are out playing games. And when the sun goes down, everyone's having a picnic in the park such a cool vibe and also in Afghanistan the way that they make the ice cream at the markets is manually done with a lot of ice buckets and they go up and down okay that's all I'm gonna leave you with for now thank you guys so much for watching please put Central Asia on your list it's that amazing so excited right now okay I'll see you guys tomorrow take it easy I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world